It's a rather rainy day and perhaps not the best day to do this, but I'm going to make this video to try to dispel a couple of notions. One is that reground cams have no bottom end, and two is that Montana 500 cars have no bottom end. This car is my old Montana 500 car. I have won with it several times. The motor has been torn down several times and has always been declared legal. It is essentially a stock motor with the exceptions allowed by the Montana 500 rules. The carburetor rules were changed this year and the carburetor that is on the car right now is not legal for the Montana 500. The cam that is in this car is a 300 thousandths lift cam ground on a stock T billet with stock lobe separation angle. The reason it pulls so well is because the cam timing has been advanced. Advancing the cam causes the intake valve to close sooner, which increases low-end torque. The reason these Montana 500 cars go so well is that the entire power band of a Model T is really in the low-end range. First I'll drive up Carnahan Hill, which is a 14% grade. Then I'll head out the freeway, take the Argonne exit, and drive up Argonne Hill, which is a 7% grade, about a mile long. Okay, I'm at the top of Carnahan Hill. It's a 14% grade. I'm going to go down to the bottom where it gets steep and uh, come up it. We'll see what happens. Got stuck gears in it. 